Hey, what is going on guys? It is Hawksness here back with another COD Mobile video. So as you guys probably know, COD Mobile just released a brand new weapon called the Razorback. Now the Razorback is a gun from Black Ops 3 and currently it's only accessible through a lucky draw with the Cosmo skin. There is no like basic version of the gun. There's literally only the skinned version which can cost anywhere from like two or three dollars to a hundred and fifty dollars and honestly you're way more likely to get it at hundred and fifty dollars than three dollars so with such a high price point obviously i thought it'd be a good idea to look at if this gun is really worth it is this weapon something that you're gonna benefit from is it a fun gun to use things like that really just kind of dive deeper into how good the gun is and honestly, I found out something very, very interesting that a lot of people were already speculating. Uh, if you actually compare the stats of the Razorback to the stats of the PDW, they are identical. But the thing is, sometimes those stats are inaccurate. Sometimes the developers might put something there and it's not actually true to how the weapon performs. So I thought I'd kind of dig deeper and really look at the actual damage stats, the fire rate stat. Like every, I'd look at everything to see how similar the guns are. And honestly, what I found is, is pretty insane to say the least. So let's go ahead and dive right into it and compare the PDW and the Razorback and see if the guns are any different at all. So the first thing we looked at was the damage of the two weapons. And if you guys look on your screen right now, you can see that the damage of the leg shot with the Razorback and the PDW are identical. And then if we switch over to the uh, the body shots, the damage is identical. And then if we switch over to headshots, the damage is identical. So what we get from this is that the close range damage of the PDW and the Razorback are literally identical. There's not even a little bit of a difference. They do the exact same damage. After that is the fire rate so if we put the gun side by side and go ahead and shoot them and do all 50 rounds which by the way they both have 50 round mag which is another similarity but if we go ahead and shoot the entire mag for both guns you can tell that they actually finish up shooting at the exact same time which means they have the exact same fire rate we can also see that the reload speed between the two guns is the exact same and also i didn't do this just by like looking at it i actually checked and measured it exactly frame by frame they literally have the exact same fire rate so they shoot the 50 bullets in the exact same amount of time all right next up is recoil now i actually have the ability to measure recoil with a little like uh editing video trick that i found out just to kind of track what the recoil looks like and i'll go ahead and show you guys what they look like side by side and as you can tell it's the same dude the, the recoil is literally the exact same obviously recoil is a little bit random so it's going to be a little different it's not going to be an identical pair but the recoil spread how far it goes everything after 50 shots it's all like it's the same as you guys can tell once again recoil won't be identical every time it's like a snowflake but a snowflake is a snowflake it's still the exact same thing next up is movement speed which is basically mobility and this is just holding the gun out and then running and seeing what the speed difference is i made sure to turn off all my perks so nothing was affected here and as you can see running across hijacked we reached the end point at the exact same time again i measured this frame by frame it is no different your player runs the exact same speed with both the pdw and the razorback Okay, next up is the ADS time. Basically what ADS time is, is how long it takes your gun to actually scope in and like go to its sights. And once again, the ADS time between the PDW and the Razorback are the exact same. Which leads me to my final piece of evidence that the Razorback and the PDW are literally the exact same gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the sound of one of the guns shooting and then halfway through, I'm gonna switch over to the other gun and I wanna see if you guys can tell a difference. So here's that. And just to confirm, yes, I did actually switch halfway through. The guns sound the exact same. Like, they, they don't even sound exactly the same. They are the same. So when I played that clip, the first part was the PDW, and the second one was the Razorback. But bro, it's, it's literally the exact same sound. Which honestly was the nail in the coffin and honestly i don't have to go test like the, the range the hit fire all that stuff the more complicated stats of the gun honestly <laughs> all we need to know is everything i just told you guys to make a, a definitive conclusion that the pdw and the razorback are literally the exact same weapon so to wrap up uh number one i just wanted to let you guys know that i did make a full smg guide video where basically i just showed you guys the best smgs what the best smgs are for your play style uh, i showed you what ones have the most recoil most damage most damage per second i made a whole video showing you guys all that stuff which will be up in the card on the top right and also linked down below in the comments and description but anyway to wrap up this video i do want to say that the gun is identical but my question is 
could maybe the game change it later like right now the only version of the gun we have is the um is the cosmos version but my question is maybe they'll actually go ahead and change the gun later maybe if more people talk about it and they're like people kind of realize that the guns are exactly the same maybe they'll make some tweaks to it to make it like kind of a different gun feel more like its own gun or at the very least change the sound of it because considering right now the only version of the razorback is like 150 dollars if you get it through the lucky draw and you uh got it as your very last item then it seems kind of crazy that you're literally just getting a different skin on a already existing gun with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy once again if you guys want to see the video on all the smgs and just you know me letting you guys know what ones are the best ones make sure to go watch that video um i also will be uploading a mythbusters very soon in the next few days if you guys do want to see that i highly recommend watching episode one and two you guys can definitely learn a lot from that and they're super quick like two to three minute videos so they don't take like any time at all but yeah so if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like and a sub and i'm out guys peace